Hi guys, it's me. Do, 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 do. I was looking for any funny or maybe interesting story about CSS borders, but I already found CSS borders are nothing special. They're just borders around elements. It's what I thought. But actually, I was wrong. We can do a lot of funny and interesting things with borders. Not only borders, we can do them uh, on many different ways and they will be border, but technically will not be. Would you like to see? If yes, let's start. Okay, so as first we need to create core. We need to create few elements. I already did it, so you can stop and copy it. Fine, now we will create animated border. We need to create own keyframe and next we need to use this keyframe as animation. Let's do it with me. Okay, we can see the effect, it looks fine. So now we can create border image. To do that, it's actually simple, we need to use only border image attribute. Let's do the code together. Oh, sorry, it was a mistake. Now it works. So we can see the effect. It's fine. In this example, we will create kind of snake style border. To do that, we will need to use a few liner gradient as a background and background origin set as a border box. Let's see it. Okay, it looks fine, let's test it. And in a while you will see the code. In this case we will create something like stairs style border. We can achieve that by uh, creating few box shadows with inset type. You can take uh, how I did it. You can check how I did it and write code with me.
Yeah, that would look fine. Let's take a look of the code. Now I would like to show you how to do a border only with a shadow. Sometimes it's helpful because it will not change position of our element. Let's take a look, it's very easy. Yeah, it's already, see it's... Okay, this effect we can do by mixing uh, shadow and uh, online uh, uh, and dashed outline. You can take a look inside the code. Let's test it. Yeah, looks fine. Let's take a look on the code. Now we will create multicolor shadow border. We can build it by uh, using a few colors of the box shadow and the dashed outline. Let's follow me with the code so you will be able to create the same one or you can change color if you would like. It looks almost ready. Let's make it bigger to take a look, it's fine. Let's take a look on the coat as well. Okay, now we will build the double border outline or that will give us kind of interesting effect. To do that, we can mix box shadow, border and dashed outline. Let's take a look how I build it. Okay, it looks like ready. It's fine. Let's take a look. Let's take a look on the code. Okay, the last one, it will be border where every wall has a different color. It looks a bit complicated, but actually it's not. We can build it by uh, mixing few liner gradients in the background and uh, setting up background origin as a border box. Let's take a look how I did it. Okay, fine, it's ready. Let's make it bigger to see it. And let's take a look on the code example. Hi, it's me again. I really hope you like the video. And you will give us thumb up, maybe two thumb ups. And if you don't do it yet, you need to subscribe our channel. Ah, it will be good, you don't need, but we will be really happy if you will subscribe, subscribe our channel. And it will be really nice if you will leave a comment and tell us what would you like to learn next. See you in the next video. Bye.